Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susan and today's video is going to be my AM and PM drugstore skincare routines. These are some of the cleansers that I use. I have the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, which is fantastic. It's very gentle. Uh, it does not remove makeup, but it does um, a great job of cleaning your skin, AM or PM. I also have the Vichy uh, Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. I have a, a deluxe sample of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I have the, the First Aid Beauty uh, cleanser and then I have a Murad hydrating exfoliator. I do have a couple of tools there. I have my spin brush and then I have a little um, device there for, for helping me to clean. So in today's video I'm going to go through my routine. It's, it's the morning and I'll show you the products I use and talk a little bit about them. So let's get started. Hi everyone and I'm here in the bathroom off my beauty room. This is the raw deal here. I've got my hair pulled back and this is usually what I do in the morning just to get it off my face and I'm going to wash my face uh, using my CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I like this cleanser. It's very gentle so this works great in the morning to just give my face a quick wash and move on with the rest of my skincare. Uh, in the nighttime, I tend to use a makeup remover first, and then I'll use one of the cleansers I have over there. And at night, I might use my spin brush or my device to help clean my skin. So basically, I'm just going to wash my face here in the bathroom, and then we'll finish the skincare in my beauty room. So I'm just going to get the water to a nice warm temperature, but not hot. And we all know that we need to wash our face twice a day in the morning just to take off the effects of sleep. Sometimes we drool, sometimes, you know, uh, our eyes tear up. I'm just going to dampen my face with the warm water and then we'll apply the cleanser. Okay, and as I said, I'm using my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I put like three or four pumps in my hand. And because I, I do take my makeup off and do a skincare routine the night before, just a quick cleaning is all that's necessary. Don't forget the neck. And then to rinse, and then we'll move back into my beauty room. Okay. And we'll move back into the beauty room for the rest of my skincare. Hey everyone, routine. so I'm back in the beauty room and now I'm gonna move on with the remainder of my skincare. So I always like to use a toner. There's a couple of toners here that I've been using that I really enjoy. This one is from Aven and this is a gentle toning lotion. And then the other one that I like to use periodically is from the brand Bliss and this is their Rose Gold Rescue Soothing Toning Mist. So those are the two toners I've got currently in my collection. So I'm just gonna give this, because this, this separates, I'm gonna give this a little shake, grab a cotton round, get some of this toner on my cotton round, and then I'm gonna be looking off to, the, to my left at my mirror here. And now toning is, is an important step because it serves actually three purposes. So the first purpose of a toner is to basically remove any last bits of your cleanser. If you had makeup on previously and you're using this in your evening routine, it'll help take off any last bits of makeup remaining on your face. The second and probably most important reason for using a toner is it helps to keep your microbiome healthy and your microbiome is the good bacteria that lives on the surface of your skin. We have good bacteria in our in our stomach and we can take a probiotic to keep that good bacteria healthy. 
so in order to keep the microbiome healthy on the surface of your skin, you use a toner, something that's going to balance your skin out and keep that microbiome healthy. And the third reason is it helps to balance your pH level. So that's why I personally like to use a toner. Some people don't use toners, and that's really personal preference. I prefer to do it having the training that I have, I have in skincare. It's something that I prefer to keep in my routine. Okay, so I've got my toner on, and now I'm going to go into some serums. And I have two serums right now that I like to use. I do pull in periodically other serums as well. Um, I'm trying out the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum, but I tend to use that on days when I'm wearing a full face of makeup. So right now the two serums that I'm going to use are from number seven. I'm, I'm learning that number seven is becoming um, very well known to dermatologists, and I've heard that even some dermatologists recommend number seven skincare to their patients. So when I heard that, I thought, okay, I'm sold. I want to see results. And their clinical studies have shown a great deal of effectiveness in um, battling lines and wrinkles, firming the skin. So I decided to pick these up. And so this is the laboratory line correcting booster serum. And this is like Botox in a bottle. So what you do is you put this serum in only specific areas where you have lines and wrinkles that you want to target. So it reminds me of like a little syringe almost. And what I like to do just to make things easy is I pump, oh, about six or eight drops on the back of my hand. Like this. And then I take one drop and I apply it to my forehead because I do have some lines in my forehead. Then I pick up a drop and I apply it on my crow's feet and I even manage to get a little right under the eye where I have some lines under there. Okay, another drop. I'm gonna do this eye. Whatever's left on my finger, I go in between my, my eyes here. Another drop, and I'm gonna do my la nasal labial folds here. Another drop. And I'm putting that on the other. And then this drop, I'm putting on either side of my mouth because I've got some lines forming there that I want to target. Now I've been using this serum for oh, quite a while and I have noticed how all of these areas are starting to really recede and, and that's very encouraging. Um, the last little bit I'm gonna take on the forehead and that's how I use this serum. Now, for those of you that aren't sure what a serum is, a serum is, an ing is a product with um, ingredients that are for specific purposes, and they contain smaller molecules, and they're made to go deeper into the skin to help on the inside out. Keep in mind, when we have, if we have wrinkles, that it's already too late to completely get rid of them unless we have fillers are Botox, but you can minimize them quite a bit. So that is the line serum I like to use for my lines and wrinkles. And then the last serum that I use is this Laboratories Firming Booster Serum. This is a nice serum to help firm the, the areas of your face and neck. And it has an on and off button. So it's on off right now. You turn it in the on position, so it's now in the on position, and I squeeze out the amount I need for my face, which is about that much, and then I'm going to turn it off because I don't want any more squeezing out as I, as I put this all over my face. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna dot it on these areas, and don't forget the neck. So I've dotted, I have no, product left now and I'm going to use these little balls these little silver balls on the tube 
to really push up and out, to really push that product right into my skin to help firm all this area. And also it's great for just moving under the eye. This helps take down puffiness as well. And it, it's important to use a serum before your moisturizer. A serum cannot take place of your moisturizer because they do two different things. Your moisturizer does something different than your serum. So it's really important to make sure you're using a serum and a, a moisturizer. Moisturizers are generally more topical and help soften and smooth the skin. And I'm maneuvering these balls, but I'm bringing them up rather than down to, to, to be sure and help keep the skin on my neck firm as well. So there we go. I've got my serums on and now I'm gonna put my day cream on. And right now um, I'm keeping with the number seven brand. I do happen to like a lot of their skincare. I have other skincare mixed in as well. I'm not strictly a number seven skincare user. I like to have to use many different products. I like to use products that I've gotten at Sephora and Ulta. I like to use products that I've gotten at the drugstore as well that are different than this. So in any case, I am going to be putting on my day. So the moisturizer that I'm using right now is the number seven Restore and Renew Face and Neck Moisturizer with SPF 30. Since it is the morning, I'm going to use this. I like the SPF in here because then I don't have to use a separate SPF. So I just use my thumb and I pull out about mm, a dime's size, not even a dime size really, just under a dime size. And then I blend it on my hands and then I put it on my face. And the thing I like about this is it, it also has those properties, those anti-aging properties in it that the serums do, but at a, a very, very smaller level. But when used in tandem with the serums, you, you re, you'll see results that much faster. You still need to use a product for 28 days. I mean, some of these products, like for instance, this line correcting boosting serum, well, you'll see, results in one week, but you'll see even better results the longer you use it. So that goes for the firming serum as well. So I've got my skincare on and then for eye cream, I'm using right now the, the Aveeno Absolutely Ageless Eye Cream and it's a three in one with a blackberry complex. So it has vitamin C, vitamin E, it's ophthalmologist tested, hypoallergenic, non-greasy, non-comedogenic, and it's formulated specifically for this the delicate skin around the eye area. Um, speaking of the eye area, one thing you don't want to do is use your day cream around your eye area where you would normally put an eye cream. The consistency is different. It's a thicker formula, and it could potentially, you know, seep into your fine lines. Uh, under your eyes and it may even start to clog your pores a little bit and that's because the formulation of a moisturizer is different than an eye cream so basically what I do and I like it because it's got this little sort of um, applicator here and I just squeeze out enough just a dot for one eye and I just use the applicator itself and I just smooth it right under the eye area. Squeeze out a little bit more. And then I apply it under this eye area. And with whatever's left, I just kind of put it here. And then using your ring finger, because it's the weakest, you just pat that right into the skin. So, so there you go. There's my AM skincare routine. The CeraVe uh, hydrating facial cleanser is excellent. It's very gentle. There's no sodium lauryl sulfate in there. And if you're not sure what that is, it's a sulfate that causes your product to foam. 
And that was put in there by manufacturers to give customers the illusion that they were getting their skin nice and clean. You don't need SLS to get your skin nice and clean. So when I'm shopping for skincare, I always look for products that have no sodium lauryl sulfate. It's a surfactant that's very, very drying. And with winter coming soon, we want to be sure we're using products that are keeping the moisture in our skin because winter, the winter temperatures are very harsh. So that's my AM skincare routine. I cleanse my skin, I tone, I use my serums, and I use my moisturizer and night cream in that order. So stay tuned, and uh, later on, I'll be back with my PM skincare routine. Hi everyone, so I'm back with my nighttime skincare routine. And as you can see, I do have makeup on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove my makeup, and then we're going to cleanse the skin after that, and then we will return to the beauty room to apply the remainder of my skincare. So basically I just brush my hair back and I use a headband and just get my hair all pulled back like that. So what I've been using lately instead of a cleansing balm, which I'm totally out of, I'm using micellar water to remove the makeup and the micellar water I'm using is Bioderma. This is the original Bioderma. This stuff is fantastic. I love it. It takes everything off and I don't, you know, the eyes don't sting. And then what I use to take it off with is not a cotton round, but a rewashable cleansing pad. I have some of these and then I also have some of the makeup eraser minis. So this is what the package looks like. And there's three inside and you can use these several times. Um, I'm trying to see if it says how many times. It doesn't say how many times you can use it, it just says they're reusable. You could probably use these about 10 times each. Uh, of course, washing them in between. So this is what they look like. This is a brand new package. It's just a small round disc. One side is white, one side is pink, and it's incredibly soft. So I have my micellar water in a pump bottle right here, my Bioderma. So I'm just gonna take this on the white side so we can see all the makeup that's coming off. And I'm gonna just pump this up and load it with some micellar water. And then we're gonna get busy taking all this makeup off. And I like to pretty well saturate this. That way there's no issue with making sure there's enough cleanser to remove all the makeup. So I'm just going to, then I'm just gonna start with the forehead And I start removing the face makeup. And I kind of turn this as I go. You can see all the, the face makeup that's coming off. And then I'm gonna use the other side as well to take off the rest of my eye makeup. Sometimes I, I get a little more on there. I've got my hand mirror here that I'm just going to be looking in to really make sure I get all the mascara off. I'm not going to get like every single bit of the mascara off with this, but I'm going to get a lot of it off without any real harsh rubbing. We don't, we don't want to harshly rub our skin or the um, delicate eye area. Okay. And whoops, I got a little left on this eye.
Okay, so there you go. Makeup is all off. And now that's gonna get tossed in the laundry. And now we're gonna go into my bathroom and I'm gonna cleanse my skin. I always do a double cleanse when I'm wearing makeup. So stay tuned and I'll be right with you. Okay, so I'm back in my bathroom and now I'm going to do a double cleanse. I'm gonna get, again, just like this morning, I'm gonna get the water pretty warm, but not hot. And then I'm just going to get my face damp. And I'm going back in with my CeraVe. Three or four pumps. Run it through my hands and then onto the skin. Really making sure to get all of that last bit of makeup off. And also going over the eye area. Okay. So I'm going to rinse my face and get all the cleanser off. The only part I don't like about this is it's very messy. But there's really no other way to do it. Okay. Grab my towel. All right. Whoopsie, something happened here. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. So, I've taken now all the makeup off. And I've got my face dry. And now we're going to go back into my beauty room and we will continue on with the rest of my skincare routine. So I'm back in my beauty room. My face is nice and clean. And I've gotten all of the cleanser rinsed off. So now I'm going to go into a toner. Now for the morning routine, I used my a Ven Gen Gentle Toning Lotion. Tonight, I think I'm gonna use my Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Soothing Toner Mist. This um, has a light fragrance and a very fine mist. Let me show you. Look at that mist. And it has like a zesty, citrusy aroma to it, which is, is really nice. Let's move on to the rest of our skincare. I just used, after that, I just used three ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna use is a retinol serum. So the one I'm using right now is new from number seven. It's the number seven advanced retinol 1.5% complex. And this is fantastic. It, it really helps to minimize lines and wrinkles, it helps you know, lighten the dark spots on your face. Um, my dark spots since I've been using this have lightened quite a bit. So in this you can put all over the face. So I get about a pea sized amount and I want it everywhere. I'm gonna focus it on the areas where I have wrinkles and then I'm applying it Oh, I love the scent of this. It's very, very light, but it is, oh, it's so nice. So I'm just putting this everywhere. And then don't forget the neck because our neck uh, can develop lines there as well. So that's my serum. And then for the night cream I'm using from Olay, the Regenerist Retinol 24 Max. So this supposedly has double the retinol in, in here. And so, my hands are sticky here. I'll show you what this looks like. 
it's this is a brand new one I, I finished off my old one it's just beautiful white whipped night cream you know when I pick up about that much run it through my hands and run it over the face. Um, what you want to do is steer clear of the eye area and the lips because it, it can cause, retinol can cause irritation. And when you're first starting out using retinol, what you want to do is use it only once or twice a week and build up a, a resistance or a tolerance, I should say. Um, and then while you're using any retinol product, no matter what brand, you want to use an SPF during the day because it can make your skin sensitive to the UVA and UVB rays. So um, just a, a bit of advice there. So that's that. And then the last thing I do is use a little bit of eye cream. And I'm going to use the same eye cream that I use in the morning, the Aveeno Absolutely Ageless Eye Cream. Just a little dot, and I I divide it between the two eyes, and I dot it on, and then using the ring finger, you're going to blend that in. It's okay to gently massage it, as long as you're being very gentle and not tugging the eye area, and then doing this tapping motion too. Uh, this feels so good on the eye area. You can put it on your lids. You can bring it around your orbital, orbital bone. And it just feels so, so good. So that is it. That's my nighttime skincare routine. Now, I do want to let you know, none of these products um, were sent to me. These were all purchased by me. This is not a sponsored video. I just happen to love these brands and these particular products. I seem to see some great results with these. And this is a routine that I really want to continue on for a while. I do love my high-end skincare as well. So if you're looking for a high-end skincare routine, feel free to leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're interested in having me try. And I, I may have it already, but I can always um, I can always pick it up for the video. So that was the end of my AM and PM skincare routine video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the, the notification bell so that you're advised of all my future uploads. As I said, please leave me a comment with any skincare products you want me to try, AM or PM. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.